So preseason starts tonight. Our first game of the preseason is against the Chicago Bears. I'm only going to tell you what I expect to see tonight from the offense and possibly from the defense. What I expect to see tonight from the offense is limited play from our first string offense, actually. Probably maybe a quarter. You know, we all, we, we all know preseason, you, they don't play a full game. Maybe even two series. Um, from Trevor Simeon, I don't expect much from Trevor Simeon. Uh, I don't expect them to come out throwing crazy touchdowns, like five or six touchdowns, especially in one quarter, maybe one touchdown. Um, he, like I said, he's practiced against the first-string defense of the Denver Broncos, so I expect him to play pretty well against the first-string defense of the Chicago Bears, seeing as how the Chicago Bears defense is nowhere close to the skill set of the Denver Broncos defense. I don't want to see him come out and fall flat on his face and struggle, but it is a possibility that he might. You can also go with any quarterback, especially the first preseason game. I mean, you can come out and struggle and have a difficult time. It takes you a while, maybe a couple games to get back into the swing of things. But with the improved offensive line, I do hope to see that there is that he has more time in the pocket now, um, and, the, and the better run and the running game with C.J. Anderson being back and picking up um, picking up Jamal Charles and Stephen Ridley, and I hope to see the rookie that I've heard so much about. That's been great in training camp and practices this year. Hope to see him come out there and actually, um, actually show Broncos fans that he can be a great running back eventually down the road somewhere. From the second string, I expect to see great play from Paxton Lynch. Seeing as how Paxton Lynch has won against the number ones of the different Broncos, I expect to see him come out and actually play better against the number twos of the Chicago Bears since seeing as how he, like I said, seeing as how he practices against the first string defense of Denver Broncos, which is a top five ranked defense. So he should be able to come out and play against the second string defense of the Chicago Bears and just pick him apart with no problem. What I don't want to see is Paxton Lynch come out and fall flat on his face against the second string defense of the Chicago Bears because if he does that, then that's going to start putting some question is Paxton Lynch ready for the NFL can Paxton Lynch win a starting position can Paxton Lynch, can, can Paxton Lynch even start in the NFL if he can't come out and at least put up some points not field goals I'm talking about touchdowns against the Chicago Bears or well, the second string defense so most of my focus yeah it's going to be tonight is going to be on Paxton Lynch and his performance and see how he does against the second string defense of the Chicago Bears also the other focus of but tonight will be the offensive line and see how well they're blocking and see if they're actually giving Trevor Simeon more time in the pocket, more time than he had last year. Because like we said last year, nobody feared the run because the run was non-existent. So it was just basically pass defense, rush the quarterback. He got no time in the pocket. Also, I'll be watching the defense like always since the defense is the core of that team. You got to watch the defense. Um... What I don't expect from the defense is a lot of playing time because you want to keep those guys healthy. You want to keep, you know, Devon Miller, Derek Wolf, Akeem Tlaib, Chris Harris Jr., all those guys. You want to keep those guys healthy, and we can't afford to have any one of those guys get injured at all because we need those guys. Those guys are huge to the success of the Denver Broncos. Like I said, we don't get to see, I don't, I don't expect to see much, maybe like a series or two from, from the defense. And then we'll see the second string come out. And they should perform pretty well. I feel like, in my opinion, I feel like the Chicago Bears do not match up well against the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos offensively and defensively. And even special teams, I feel like, should easily beat the Chicago Bears. Till next time, this is your boy Broncos Fanatic saying, Go Broncos!